All right, in this problem, we're looking at Lillian, who is buying a house and has to borrow $200,000 to do it. She's got three different loan options shown below. Plan A is a traditional 30-year fixed-rate mortgage. Plan B is a traditional 15-year fixed-rate mortgage. These are, uh, and when I say traditional, most mortgages in the U.S. are 30-year fixed-rate, although a, an increasing percentage are the 15-year fixed-rate. Usually a 15-year mortgage carries a slightly lower annual interest rate, annual percentage rate. Uh, it's, it's rarely as much as 1% less, but in this case, we just did that for exaggeration effect. And then Plan C is a, a five-year mortgage with a large balloon payment. A balloon payment is a large payment at the very end. This is one of the types of loans that is used when people intend to either flip a house or don't intend to stay there very long. All right, so the question is, each of the loans requires monthly payments. How much interest does she pay under each of these options, uh, assuming she paid as agreed? All right, so for a 30-year mortgage, that means that she paid it over 30 years. That never happens, but we use it for illustration. Most 30-year mortgages last 10 years or less although it's, it, it, the, those numbers have changed a little in the last decade uh, after the Great Recession, it's still true that most people do not pay 30 years on a 30-year mortgage. They refinance it or move. All right, so the 30-year mortgage is 360 payments, the 15-year mortgage 180 payments, and this five-year mortgage is 60 payments, each of them monthly over the period of the loan. The rate... These are annual percentage rates. I've got to divide them by 12 to get the monthly percentage rate. The present value is going to be 200000 on each of them. The future value would be zero for both of these. Okay? That's because you're going to make... You're going to make your payments and then completely amortize the loan. With this one, you're going to only amortize a hundred and or only amortize ten thousand dollars of the principal at the end of the five year period, you'll still owe them a hundred and ninety thousand and then you'll make one large balloon payment to pay off the loan or to refinance it as you go. So if we're looking at PMTs rate number of periods, present value, future value, hit the OK button. Notice that the payments are much higher for the 15-year mortgage because you got to pay off all $200,000 in roughly half the time. And they're fairly close with this particular uh, Plan C, pretty close to the amount that you'd pay for the 30 year. All right, so the total paid would be the total number of payments. So that'd be 360 payments of 1,073.64 plus any balloon payment that you pay. Okay, so that's the amount that you would pay or set the amount that you'd send in over the term of the loan. The principal is $200,000 for each of them. Principal is how much money they gave you, so the interest would be the rest. And notice how little interest you're paying on Plan C. Uh, that's because it's only a five-year loan, as opposed to the 30-year loan here. All right, so the that's the main difference is that instead of paying the other 190,000 slowly over the remaining 25 years you pay off the loan. That's why the interest is so low on this one, is that you get rid of all that principal that much quicker. The 15-year loan has much less interest because, of course, you only pay interest over 15 years, but it's also at a much lower rate. So creative real estate financing is the, is the it can get fairly complicated fairly quickly, uh, but it's all time value of money.